seven tables at a restaurant. I had a dream of opening my own restaurant called Ken Hot Dog Stands. Guess what? Didn't have any money, but I had a dream. Didn't know who was going to be doing the finances, but I had a lot of faith. A lady saw me, associations. Once again, it says, the only difference between a person and who you are today and in five years is the books that you read, family. I don't invest in real estate, but I invest into my mind. And I, and I, I came here the first of the year to tell you. Vision President once said, once a man or a woman empty his purse in his head, no one can take it away. Well, that's good, isn't it? When you take some information and some commitment, there's nothing that can stop you. I'm a witness. One of teenage parents, I'm thinking 10 times, but, I love some but, but mean it's not over. I was serving tables at a restaurant and a lady and man saw me and said, there's something different about you. As also, I sat here and I heard each and every one of you had a different niche. Write this down. Grow niche in a rich. Go, go rich, grow rich in a niche. Grow rich in a niche. See, you don't have to know how to do everything but you do know how to do something. And guess what? Right now in Detroit, you see, entrepreneurship is about two things, family. Find a need and fill it. Is it not? Find a need and fill it. I was not smart. I wanted to start an NBA. He laughing at me, you all. <laughs> you see, can I tell you something? When you go and you want to tell someone, tonight I met a man that told me that all things are possible, they're going to laugh at you, like he did. I wanted to start an NBA. Guess what I did? I tried out for the basketball team. I tried out. Guess what happened? I got cut. But I didn't quit on my dream. And don't you dare quit. Tough times don't last, tough people do. If it was easy, everybody be doing it. Guess what, the next year, I tried out for the team. Guess what happened? I got cut. But I never, ever, ever quit on my dream. The third year, I thought it was the shoes. So I got me some red Chuck Taylors, don't get the one slip and slide, get the one with the star on the side, you know them, don't you? I thought it was the shoes. I tried out, guess what happened? I got cut. But I still didn't quit on my dreams. And I dare you to quit on your dreams. I want to make an announcement today. Can I make an announcement? I did make it to the NBA. I really did. Not only did I make it to the NBA, guess what? I started the NBA. No, not the National Basketball Association. But my natural born abilities. Oh my goodness, give me a hand That's good stuff, you all. That's good Let me tell you something about commitment, you all. Commitment is a line that you draw between wishing and doing. Jeremy told you, if I can do it, you can do it. Born to teenage parents, I think it's in times growing up, but I position myself. Position yourself to prosper. You see, once you improve your mindset, Supersize, enlarge your mindset, and always, always develop your skill set. That's why I walk in the door and so excited about the association. Listen to this, y'all, listen to this. Give me a hiccup, mom. Y'all, get inside, get inside, y'all, give me a hiccup, please. <laughs> listen, it takes teamwork to make the dream work. Coming together is the beginning. Keeping together is progress. But working together is success. Oh my goodness, that's Henry Ford. I love it, y'all get excited. You know what? Listen to this. Teamwork is the fuel that allows common people like you, 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 and me to attain uncommon results. Guess who said that? Andrew Carnegie, and he has some cheddar. Oh my goodness! <laughs> you see, success leaves clues, you all. You only read about successful people. You all, can you, who committed today, you all? Who committed here today? You all.